So let's solve this equation. This is an exponential equation. We have to solve for x. So we have here 2 is about 2x and here 2 is about x. This is 2, the base is 2, and the exponent, the exponent is 2x. So we're going to use a lot of indices to simplify this. This one is already here. the base here and x here. We don't need to simplify it further. This one we can simplify it further. So we're going to write x and then we'll bring 2 at the back. Let's say 2, we write x, and then the 2, the power 2, we put it here at the back. x is an exponent 2 as well as an exponent. Multiplying these two exponents gives you 2 raised to the power 2x. So we're gonna, we've made 2 raised to the power x same as this. We have 2 here is the base and x is the exponent. So minus 3, we're going to write 2 raised to the power x again. Plus 2 is equal to 0. So we're going to uh, find a value to represent 2 raised to the power x. Since it's common here, we have 2 raised to the power x and we have here 2 raised to the power x. So we say let 2 raised to the power x is equal to, let's say, p. So we're going to repeat replace here with b and here also with p so this becomes p raised to the power 2 which is p square p square minus 3 in brackets replace replace with p plus 2 is equal to 0 so we're going to have here p square 3 times p is 3p plus 2 is equal to 0 so we're going to factorize this factorize you find the value of p Multiply 2 plus 2 and plus p square. 2 times p square gives you 2 p square. So the factors of 2 are 1 and 2. So we can write this one as p and 2 p. So we're going to look for a value that can satisfy this middle value minus 3 p. So we are going to add it or subtract in order for us to get this middle value. And the only way we can get this is by using minus p and minus 2p to give us minus 3p. So minus p and minus 2p gives you minus 3p and then multiplying it gives you positive 2p square which satisfies this and this middle term. So we're going to have here, let's factorize p square minus 2p minus p we've replaced minus 3p with this minus 2p the factors and then write plus 2 plus 2 equals 0 now we're going to factorize this 2 this 2 take this 2 p is common here p is here and p is here so we take out p and then we open a bracket p into p square p cancel one of the p so we're going to go up to one p so you multiply this gives you this and then you say p into minus 2p, p cancels p, so we are left 2 minus. Here, yeah, the common factor between p plus 2, the only factor that can move to p and 2 is 1. So write 1, and then we open our bracket. 1, if 1 is the only common factor here. So 1 into p is p minus 1 into plus 2, minus times plus is minus. 1 into 2 is 2. So we're going to have here p minus 2 as a, and p minus 1 as a two factors is equal to 0. So let's continue solving. So p minus 2 is equal to 0 or p minus 1 is equal to 0 where p is equal to 2 or p is equal to now 1. They go over the quarter sign and they become positive. So but we said let 2 raised to the power x is equal to p. So we're going to write 2 raised to the power x now is equal to 2 or 2 raised to the power x is equal to 1 the other value of p. So this one, since they have the same base, this one, the power here is 1. Since there's nothing here, they have the same base, so they cancel out. So we have x is equal to 1 or 2 raised to the power x, they don't have the same base, but you can write 
1 has 2 raised to the power of 0. Remember, any number raised to the power of 0 from the laws of indices is 1. So we're going to have here x is equal to 1, or here they have now the same base, so they cancel out. So x is equal to 0. So these are answer for this question. So if you find this video useful, please don't forget to like and share. Thank you.